Hello everyone, my name is Christina and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of my favourites from the month of July. In this video I've got for you guys a book, a podcast, um, a really good video and a recent subscription that I've started. So the first thing is a book and it's called The Courage to be Disliked. It's laid out as a conversation between a philosopher and a student. Because the book is laid out as a conversation, throughout the book the student chimes in with different questions that he's asking the philosopher about um, just all these things that they're talking about and I found that a lot of the time the questions that the student was asking I was actually thinking in my head and I was like I'm really intrigued to see the answer to this and it's such a good way to lay out a book especially when they're trying to teach you how to not care what people think about you and how to have the courage to be disliked so I really like the layout of this book so as you can probably tell from the title but the main theme or the main message from this book is pretty much that freedom is the courage to be disliked and if you want to find true happiness you have to be willing and able to be comfortable with the fact that not everyone's going to like you and they do such a good job of exploring this in the book and I really highly encourage you to read the book if this is something that you're struggling with like people pleasing and being too nice and stuff that's definitely something that I've struggled with in the past as humans we sometimes subconsciously and consciously always go out of our way to please other people we do things only so that other people will like us not because we actually want to do it for ourselves um so we often make ourselves unhappy in the process of making other people happy and i love the way that they described it in the book because when you really do think about it um it, freedom is the courage to be disliked and i'll tell you why if you are constantly worried what people will think of you what they'll say what they might do you're not free like you're constantly worrying what other people will think so you're kind of you're stuck in this really narrow box of just doing things that other people will like you for and by the way that's never a good way to live life because regardless of what you do people will not like you anyway so you, you should always just do what makes you happy anyway i apologize because i'm not giving a very good like review of the book it's so so good i highly recommend you guys check it out I think if you have Amazon Prime as well, it's completely free. So definitely check it out. I got it for free on Amazon Prime because I've got the student Prime account. Just in case you're interested, I also wrote a summary of this book over on my blog. Um, I'll have that link down in the description box below for you guys. For all of the book summaries on my blog, I always write down three of the key things that I've learned from the book as well as some of my favorite quotes. So from this book, the three key principles were all of our problems are interpersonal relationship problems. So whether you find yourself um, really bad with money or maybe you hate your job, that's typically because you've got an interpersonal relationship problem. In the book, they talk about how we can fix that. It's pretty much having horizontal relationships rather than vertical relationships. And a vertical relationship is when you see yourself as better than someone else. So, oh, I'm above this person because X, Y, Z. Or you see yourself as worse than someone else. So maybe you have less money, you have, maybe you live in a worse neighborhood, that kind of thing. The second principle from this book that I wrote down in my book summary was that in order to be happy, you need to only focus on what you can control. In the book, they kind of discuss this topic as like the separation of tasks, which is pretty much only focus on your tasks. And your tasks are pretty much things you can control. Don't worry about other people's tasks, which are things that you can't control, which I think is a really good way to think about it. The last principle that I took away from this book is that our happiness is down to us. And in the book, the philosopher rather controversially says that the reason that you're unhappy isn't down to your past experiences, no matter how you know bad your trauma was or negative experiences in your past were, it's down to your thought patterns. And if you maintain these thought patterns that keep you in a negative mindset, you're essentially keeping yourself in a state of unhappiness. So pretty much regardless of what negative experience you've had in your past, it's, it's actually not those experiences that are making you unhappy, it's your thought patterns. If you want to get rid of unhappiness, you actually have to change your mindset and, the, and your way of thinking. It's not necessarily your experiences that are keeping you unhappy. It was really interesting to read about, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Um, if, you don't have, if you don't want to read the book, then go ahead and read my summary, I pretty much cover most of the key things. My next favourite is this video called Reprogram Your Mind for Success, it's by this woman called Marissa Pia. And she's become a bit of an obsession of mine over the past month, I've, once I watched this video from her I became a little bit obsessed because I found her so amazing. So this was a talk that she did with Mind Valley. I don't know if you guys have heard of that before, but it's pretty much this YouTube channel. I think it's a podcast as well. They're kind of like TED Talks, but kind of much longer. They go on for like an hour, if not longer. And they get a bunch of amazing people all over the world to talk about different things, about mindset, success, um, all that jazz. This talk in particular was by this woman called Marissa Pia, who is a world-renowned therapist. And I watched this video of hers and I literally binge watched all of her YouTube channel and all of her videos and talks that she's done. I'll link below some of her stuff, not just this video, but her YouTube channel as well, in case you guys are interested. I won't be able to do this video justice because it is so, so good. Guys, honestly, just go and watch like the first 10 minutes of this video. And if you don't, if you don't like it, then that's fine. I guess it's not your thing. But honestly, this video like blew me away. In the video, she pretty much talks about how powerful affirmations are and saying 
things like I am worthy, I am enough to yourself over and over again and like putting them on your mirrors, putting them on your fridge, how powerful it is to like see that over and over again and just affirm to yourself all of these positive messages and she goes into a bit of depth as well about like the subconscious mind and how our mind works and if you want to achieve success or if you want to be happy then you really have to understand how your mind thinks and she goes into detail in the video about that as well and it just made so much sense she's a really good speaker like everything that she says isn't um, it's not difficult to understand i love this video so much honestly i'm a big fan of marissa p and l because of this video so um yeah you guys should definitely check it out i'm sure you'll like it too the podcast that I've been loving this month is one called Impact Theory and you guys might have heard of this before if you're into like self-improvement and podcasts and stuff like that but this is hosted by a guy called Tom Bilu. So his podcast is also in the form of a YouTube channel so all of his episodes that he records are uploaded to his channel where he actually has a conversation with the guests so you can kind of watch them on YouTube or listen to them as well. He sums up his podcast really well in his own words so I'm just going to read out what he says but he says my goal with this YouTube channel is to introduce you to the people and ideas that will help you actually execute on your dreams. You will learn how to level up your mindset, develop leadership skills in your business and in your personal life and learn how to live your life to the full potential. And it's honestly so so good. He has has some amazing guests some of them are people like Marissa Pia he's had Marissa Pia on his podcast he's had this guy called David Goggins he David Goggins has an incredible book called can't hurt me that's probably one of my favorite books of all time please go read it guys I'll link it down in the description box below he's had people who are like authors it's an amazing podcast and YouTube channel he honestly speaks to some amazing people and one of the things I like about podcasts in general and stuff like this is that you can learn from people who are literally at the top of their game they've like achieved really big success and I just love the fact that you can kind of learn what helped them get to where they are and what mistakes did they make along the way what did they learn what did they use to get there it's kind of like you can learn from them to help you get to where you want to be and if that makes sense so it's not kind of like you have to replicate them but it's kind of like you can take bits of information from each of them and then use it to get to where you want to be I definitely want to start talking about some of the ideas and stuff that they talk about on impact theory on my channel so yeah definitely make sure you subscribe in case you're interested in more self-improvement content because that'll definitely be coming up soon so last but not least is my subscription to Skillshare. This month I finally got my Skillshare subscription. I started the free trial early on this month. I think using um, Anas Nur Ali's free trial thingy. Um, but yeah, I've been like, I've been telling myself I need to start Skillshare, I need to start Skillshare, so I finally did it this month. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm currently doing a class with Roxanne Gay. I think it's the, the creative writing course, which is really, really helpful. It's really helping me level up my writing for my blog. And there's so many other classes there that are amazing as well. There's some that are helping me learn how to edit better and stuff like that. I love it because I feel so much more productive on Skillshare than I do on YouTube. Like I spend sometimes three hours a day on YouTube, but then when I'm on Skillshare, it's like, oh no, I'm doing something good. It's not as bad. So yeah, I'm really loving that. I also love that on Skillshare there's like a bit of a community feel so on YouTube I always scroll to like the bottom where the comments are. On Skillshare there's like a similar comment section but it's called community I think and I love the fact that you can kind of like speak to other students and sometimes the teachers of the classes respond to messages as well which is quite nice so I just love that there's a community feel. So that is the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what some of your favorite books podcasts and stuff from the month of July are I'd love to know and yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching bye! But...